simplify square root of negative 48 okay that is equal to square root of 48 i because we know whenever we have a square root of negative a that is a square root of a and that's negative 1 and a square root of negative 1 is i so that's the rule so this is square root of 48 i now 48 we want to see if 48 has any square perfect square factors so perfect square means like 4 9 16 etc so 16 divides 48 three times so 48 is in fact 16 times 3 i outside and now square root of 16 is 4 3 i final okay next solve by factoring okay so right hand side is zero that's good now we factor there are two terms and then 375 check if 3 divides 75 use your calculator yes 3 divides 75 so 3 is out x to the fourth x is square four of them two of them so two of them out parenthesis now three out out of x four out of four two out so two left x is square minus three divide 75 divide 75 by three you get 25 and x square is already out that equals zero now we have a situation where product of two things equals zero that implies either 3x square equals 0 or whole x square minus 25 equals 0 okay we solve each equation so 3x square equals 0 divide by 3 divide by 3 you get x square equals 0 take a square root both sides so x equals 0 plus minus but same thing so x equals 0 uh, move negative 25 to the other side so add 25 both sides so x square equals 25 now take a square root both sides okay like here you get x equals plus minus 5 okay square of 25 is plus minus 5 in fact plus minus is coming from left side anyways square of 25 is 5 and when we use the square root method have to put in plus minus thus x equals 0 plus minus 5 5 and negative 5 there are three answers 26 solve the equation okay we have fraction so the first thing we need to do is get rid of fractions for that we need to find the LCD uh, okay so x minus and then for that we need to factor the bottoms so x minus 2 is already factor x plus 3 is already factor how about x squared plus x minus 6 let's factor this trinomial so it factors as a product of two binomials if it factors so x squared so x x and negative 6 so 3 times 2 6 to get negative so one of them should be negative and plus in the middle so plus go to the bigger minus 2 okay so this is in fact x plus 3 x x minus 2 let me write that x over x minus 2 plus 2 over x plus 3 equals 10 over we factor this here that's x plus 3 quantity x minus 2 and we can also make quantity like this so the LCD is so 1 2 3 out of 3 different denominators x minus 2 x minus 2 same thing so 1 x minus 2 x plus 3 x plus 3 so x plus 3 so the LCD is a product of x minus 2 and x plus 3 or other way around now we multiply both sides by the LCD okay multiply both sides so multiply both sides means uh, in the left side we have two fractions so multiply each fraction by the LCD okay so first fraction let's multiply by x minus 2 x plus 3 so multiply means multiply the top x minus 2 x plus 3 same thing here let me write on the right side or front doesn't matter x minus 2 x plus 3 right hand side you multiply x minus 2 x plus 3 okay then we get x minus 2 cancel 
x plus 3 cancel x minus 2 x plus 3 cancel okay what is left x plus 3 times x okay x and x plus 3 x i'm gonna write in the front x times quantity x plus 3 okay the bottom is gone that was the purpose of multiplying by the lcd 2 times x minus 2 equals uh, the 10 let's simplify so for that we distribute x we distribute 2 we get x x x is square plus 3x plus 2x minus 4 equals 10 in the left side this is x squared 3x plus 2x 5x minus 4 equals 10 4 and 10 are numbers so we can combine x squared so it becomes a trinomial so bring 10 to the left side so subtract 10 from both sides we get okay x squared plus 5x minus 4 minus 10 minus 14 equals 0 okay now we factor this trinomial x squared x x negative 14 7 times 2 14 to get negative one of them should be negative other should be positive and to get plus 5 so plus here minus here and we have a product of two factors equals 0 using the zero factor property x plus 3 x plus 7 either x plus 7 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0 from this factor x is negative 7 and from this factor x is 2 so negative 7 and 2 are possible answers now we need to check if they work okay uh, let's plug in 2 first 2 2 over 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so 2 over 0 is undefined we cannot divide by 0 so 2 is not an answer okay because we don't have to check everything we don't have to check throughout just 2 over 2 minus 2 2 over 0 so this is not an answer and check plug in x equals negative 7 and that will be the answer so x equals negative 7 okay next 27 so we have a square root of 4x minus 5 minus 8 equals 16 to get rid of this square root we need to square okay to square we need to isolate this square root in left side or right side for that let's move 8 to the other side because 8 and 16 they are like terms so 8 add 8 so we have now square root of 4x minus 5 equals 16 plus 8 24 now to get rid of this square root we square both sides okay then the square is square root cancel 4x minus 5 equals 24 is square that's 484 okay 484 check in your calculator now to isolate x add 5 okay we get uh, 484 I might be wrong okay 24 square is I don't know 24 square is So 24 square, 24 square, 576, okay, 576, anyway, add 5, that is now 24 square, 5, okay, add, that will be 1, 581 now we divide by 4 so x equals 581 over 4 okay yeah that's the final if we plug this back into the original equation it will work 28 okay we have a square root of something minus a square root of something equals 1 to get rid of a square root we need to square but when we square both sides 
we need to square everything in the left and everything on the right okay like here everything and everything but this is a difference of two squares okay uh, sorry this is that a minus u minus b square and we cannot cancel when we square we need to multiply this by itself okay so this does not help so what we have to do is move one of the roots to the other side so let's move this is a negative add square root of x minus 3 both sides okay we get 2x minus 5 1 plus root x minus 3 now we square both sides then square is square root cancel and we get 2x minus 5 equals it's like a square quantity square means we multiply this by itself so let me show you over here 1 plus root x minus 3 div multiplied by itself 1 plus root x minus 3 okay just foil and we get 1 times 1 1 1 times root x plus minus 3 root x minus 3 this times 1 same thing and plus 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 root x minus 3 times root x minus 3 just x minus 3 okay let's simplify this uh, two copies so 2 of root x minus 3 and the x 1 minus 3 is negative 2 so x x here and 1 minus 3 negative 2 and this is plus okay so when we square we get a big thing so that's x minus 2 plus 2 root x minus 3 okay we still have root so we need to square again we need to square again to get rid of this square so we need to move everything to the other side left side okay so there is do not <laughs> cancel negative 2 and 2 say 2 times so we cannot move this so bring x and 2 to the left side negative x positive 2 subtract x add 2 okay 2x minus x just x minus 2 minus 5 plus 2 minus 3 equals 2 square root of x minus 3 now times 2 we can divide by 2 but that makes fraction okay that makes fraction and we need to square to get rid of this square root so I don't want to move two. I just I just want to square both sides square whole left hand side square whole right hand side and we get x minus 3 square so multiply x minus 3 by itself okay we need to multiply x minus 3 by itself x minus 3 by itself so x minus 3 square means x minus 3 times x minus 3 just foil you get x square minus 6 x plus 9 okay multiply you get x square minus 6 x plus 9 in the right hand side don't cancel 2 is square 4 and this because times means we can go term by factor by factor 2 is square 4 and this is square means is square and is square cancel and x minus 3 but this is not simply x square minus 3 square no x minus 3 quantity is square you need to foil now distribute x so x is square minus 6x plus 9 equals distribute 4 we get 4x minus 12 now this is a quadratic equation bring these two terms to the left side for we subtract 4x add 12 subtract 4x add 12 and we get x square minus 6x minus 4x minus 10x 9 plus 12 21 equals 0 factor this trinomial so x square x x 21 7 times 3 21 to get negative both negative negative so from this we get 7 and from this we get 3 okay 7 and 3 are possible answers now 
to declare before we declare the our answers we need to check if they work okay let's plug in 7 into the original question the original question was 2x minus 5 minus x minus 3 equals we have to get 1 okay, let's plug in 7 2 times 7 14 minus 5 9 square root of 9 is 3 7 minus 3 4 is square root of 4 is 2 3 minus 2 1 so yes 7 is good how about 3 okay 2 times 3 2 times 3 6 6 minus 5 1 square root of 1 is 1 minus 3 minus 3 0 square root of 0 is 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so both are answers okay so x equals 7 and 3 both are answers